Why, good morning. You know me. I'm Bill Gates for TarverAcademy.com, and I'm here with your problem of the day. What are we going to be doing, you ask? I'll tell you. We're going to be doing solving systems of linear equations by substitution. You like substitutes? Me too. It means you don't have to do class. Let's do class. What am I talking about? Let's go. Here we go. See, hey, first of all, do you see this setup? That means that I care about you guys, so I want to make you learn. Okay, so here we go. So we have, right here, we've got two lines. We want to find the coordinate where these two lines cross each other. Okay, so pause it, try to work the equation, and then I'm going to show you how. Boom. You good? That's a thumbs up. It's hard to see when I do it that way. Okay, so here we go. So what we want to do is essentially we want to substitute either that x or that y or that x or that, I'm sorry, that y or that x for the other equation. That doesn't make sense. I'm going to show you. First thing you do is look for out of your x's and y's, doesn't matter which one you start with, I would recommend finding the one that doesn't have anything in front of it. Well, we know it's a one, but there's nothing in front of it. That makes it a little bit easier. So this would be our little, little fella right here. So my goal is to get that y by itself. So step one, variable by itself, okay? Good handwriting, Tyler, check. Okay, so we wanna get that by itself. So we gotta do the opposite of plus two x, and that means subtract two x from both sides goes away over there. So we've got y equals equals 9 minus 2x, okay? And our other equations up here. What we do from here is now you replace or, if you want, substitute, okay? When you substitute something, you're taking something out and putting something else in. We know in our world of this equation, these equations, y is the exact same as that. y is equal to that. So out of this equation, which is now down here, I'm going to replace the y in the other equation. So I know y is the exact same as this, so I'm going to rewrite this equation. 3 times, and I'm replacing y with what y is equal to, 9 minus 2x. Then we're going to carry everything else out like it looks. Minus 2x equals 11. Now we just solve it. We know substitute, or I'm sorry, dis distribute that, distribution. So 3 times 9 is 27 minus 6x. Everything else, bring it down. Don't leave anything out. That's a good way to mess up. Okay? We combine our like terms. 27 comes down. That'd be negative 8x equals 11. We subtract 27 from both sides because now we're trying to get x by itself. Do you notice how whenever I plug that y in for it, it got rid of all my y's and I'm just left with x's. Okay? So that goes away negative 8x, and so that'd be negative 16, no, that's negative 8 times x, so the opposite of that is divide. A lot of people will add 8, that's not correct, because what you're doing is you're doing the opposite of what's happening between it and the x. So that would be x equals positive 2. Negative and negative make a positive. Now you found half of this little guy. We found our 2. We gotta find the other half, and that's actually the easy part. All we got to do is plug that 2 in and substitute it in for an x out of either equation. Um, let's use our other one. I like to switch it up. Let's use this other one, okay? I'm going to make it look over here. Okay, so we've got this original equation, which is y plus 2x equals 9. And now I'm just going to substitute x for 2 because x is equal to 2. So y equal, I'm sorry, y plus 2 times 2 because x and 2 are the exact same. y plus 4 equals 9. Subtract our 4 from both sides. Y equals 5. Boom! Get buckets. TarverAcademy.com Did you subscribe? You should.